Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, tomorrow I, ha I have a meeting with Highways England when I will be raising a number of local uh, priorities, including resurfacing the old and worn out concrete surface on the A180 and also the dangers faced by many villages when the main carriageway is closed due to uh, repairs or accidents. Thanks to the excellent news yesterday that Immingham, Grimsby and the Humber ports are, are to be given free port status, it's even more important that we have an adequate highway network. Like many colleagues, I feel as elected representatives, we lack the necessary influence to determine uh, priorities of agencies such as Highways England. Can we have a debate about Highways England and how its priorities are set? Leader. Um, um, Mr Speaker, my honourable friend raises an excellent point and he tempts me greatly because I hope when he sees Highways England tomorrow uh, he will ask them on my behalf why they keep on closing the M3 and the M4 at weekends, both of which are essential routes uh, to the part of the world in which I live and it's extraordinarily vexing. So if you can do me a favour, I hope he will raise that uh, with them. Um, but as always, he is the champion for um, Cleethorpes, for his constituency, and he's right to be concerned about the quality of our roads and to ensure that they are in the best possible condition. <clears throat> Her Majesty's Government is providing £4 billion of taxpayers' money for major structural renewals on Highways England's network up to 2025, so it can meet the road condition targets it has been set. It is, of course, important that it consults with the public and Parliament in uh, de developing a programme for these works, and I will certainly pass on his comments uh, to the Secretary of State uh, for Transport, and I encourage him to get good answers from Highways England.